Hey guys, Keith Nanya here. I want to show you a problem I'm having. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I like Fallout 4, even though I don't shoot Fallout 4 videos and stuff for my channel. Most, my channel is mostly about automobiles and electronics and just miscellaneous fixes and stuff. But uh, I've been running into this problem lately uh, where when I start my Fallout 4, I play, you know, you can play for an hour or so, and then you go to save your game. And you sign out, and it says the game is saved and all that stuff, and you're all fat, dumb, and happy. Well, you come back the next day, and you want to play some, and hey, all your progress is gone. It's just not there. So, you know, this happened on and off for several months, and I could not figure out how to solve this issue. Well, I finally figured out how to solve it. And because I'm having this problem, I thought, well, maybe somebody else is having this problem, too. I want to show you something. All right, this is where I was last at. So if I go ahead and I push continue, I should start my game right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, forgot to confirm it. Hit the confirm. Anyway, so I was having these issues, and uh, I figured it out one day. Uh, I was reading some forums, and nobody was really helping, but somebody had mentioned something about uh, your computer virus protection. And I was like, well, why would that be my issue? Because, you know, I've, I've been playing this thing for years, and why would my computer virus protection all of a sudden just decide that, hey, you shouldn't have access to saving your games anymore? And... Uh, Lo and behold, that, that actually was the problem. Now, for me, my virus protection is uh, Bitdefender. So, if you have Bitdefender and you're having some of those issues, well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix those problems. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save it as if uh, we're looking remember when I started I was over there by the door so we're gonna go ahead and and save it looking at the city right here without without the big ring around it so I'm gonna show you the problem first and gotta hit your escape button then you can hit uh, save then it's gonna ask you whether you want to do save up see that's where I was when I started or wherever so I'm just gonna hit new save so now it should be saved. And notice I'm in the city and there's no ring around it. So now when I hit escape and hit load, uh, you'll see that I don't get that option. I still have the ring, so the problem hasn't been solved. So this is what you, uh, this is what you do to first of all get back out of that. And I'm gonna hit alt tab. And then I'm gonna come down here to my screen on the bottom. Go down here. I'm going to go down to. Uh, I'm using uh, Windows uh, 8.1, by the way. All right. So now I'm in Bitdefender. So you come over to Protection. You come over to Safe Files and Access Application, which is another fancy word for programs. Now I don't know why they had to change that. All right. Now if you notice in app, uh, Applications, uh, Fallout 4, even Steam is not allowed to have or change you know, access or change to the programs. So basically you just, well, it has access, but it can't change any program files. So now you can do that. You don't have to hit save or anything. It automatically does it for you in Bitdefender. So let's get out of here. All right, now we can come back to the game and uh, let's move around here a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and, and try to save it. So hit escape, save game. We're going to use a new save, so it should be saving it now. So now I should be able to go in and hit load game. And lo and behold, there it is. There's my saved game now. So for the longest time, I could not figure this out. It just drove me batty. And it was one of the reasons I didn't play Fallout for a while because I was doing all this research and just couldn't figure it out. And it would have never occurred to me that my virus protection program would arbitrarily 
change my, my computer settings for me. Well, Bitdefender does. And it's done a good job other than that. So, well, anyways, I just want to thank you all for um, watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed it, especially if you're a Fallout 4 fan and you have this problem. And it may not just apply to this game. It may apply to a lot of other games, too. So, again, thank you for watching. If you learned something and it helped and you found the video somewhat entertaining, uh, please give me a thumbs up for the time I spent doing this for you all. God bless you all, and Keith Nunn, you out. Bye.